Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, I am sharing my 2022 Easter Decorate with me. I am so excited to share today's video because it is my first ever video on my channel that is being sponsored. I am so blessed and excited to partner with this amazing company. And once I share the company, you guys are gonna see that the DIY game on my channel, all the creations, this is really gonna step it up a notch. So I am so excited to say thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. So my coffee bar is one of my favorite areas of the house to decorate. So we're gonna start there first. I'll be sharing some of the Cricut DIYs that I created and showing you exactly how you can create these pieces as well. And we'll be talking more about this amazing sponsor. So let's get into today's video and get started at the coffee bar. On my tier tray is where I'll be decorating with my personalized Cricut decor. My favorite part about the Cricut is that instead of spending hours shopping for decor, which don't get me wrong, I love to do that, but sometimes I have a certain image in my mind that I want. So the Cricut makes it easy for you to make your own decor that matches your style. So that is exactly what I did here with these adorable pieces that I created. If you've never heard of Cricut, it is a smart cutting machine that allows you to create personalized projects with hundreds of materials. It works with a software called Design Space that comes free with your machine. This is where you can create your project and browse from hundreds of images and fonts. Let me show you exactly how I made my personalized decor for my tier tray using my Cricut Explore Air 3. I'm working on my mini cutting board first. I opened up the app Design Space and I'm scrolling to select a font to write the phrase Happy Easter. Design Space has a measurement template laid out to ensure you are sizing appropriately, which is super helpful. Once you have your design ready, it's as simple as following the prompts on screen. The app is really user friendly, which I love. It tells me to load in the vinyl and then I watch the Cricut do its magic. I'm cutting the vinyl down to size, so I'm just working with the area that the machine cut. Then moving on to my favorite step, which is the weeding process where you remove all of the excess vinyl. I really do enjoy this weeding process because I feel like I'm always go, go, go and slowing down and focusing on the little details here. It just relaxed me and kind of put my mind at ease. Very strange, I know, but it is relaxing. And while I was doing this, I was giggling to myself, thinking of when I used to print out letters on the computer to trace them, or I would draw with pencil on the back of letters to transfer it onto pieces of wood to create my own signs. And I am just so excited that I don't have to do that anymore. I will be able to use my Cricut now. So definitely subscribe if you're excited for some DIYs to come. If you guys are interested in purchasing a Cricut machine for yourself, make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video. I have a really exciting offer to share with you guys. So make sure you keep watching and stay tuned for the end of the video. Next, I'm cutting a piece of transfer tape to match the size of my project and then placing the transfer tape on top of my Happy Easter logo. I press it down with my scraper tool to ensure that the logo attaches to the transfer tape. 
Once your logo attaches, you can stick it onto your project, center it, and then using your scraper, you adhere it to the cutting board, pull it back, and reveal your beautiful project. I added a couple floral details around the Happy Easter logo just to make it feel like spring, and this is how it turned out. For the next project, I'm using permanent vinyl to DIY a clear glass coffee mug. I want to add bunnies and carrots to the mug, so I'm scrolling through Design Space to find the images I want. And let me just say there are thousands of images to choose from, so take your time, really select what fits your style. I'm cutting a piece of vinyl for my project and attaching it to the mat. The reusable mat holds the material in place as your Cricut machine cuts the vinyl. It makes it easy for you to remove the finished piece once the cut is complete and ensure that your vinyl doesn't move around while the machine cuts. I know how much you guys love my cats on my channel, so I decided to add in this clip of Phil enjoying my Cricut just as much as me. I'm weeding out the excess vinyl that I don't need, and then because the bunnies and carrots are pretty small, I didn't need to use transfer tape, so I just pulled them off gently with my weeding tool and then used my scraper tool to attach it to the mug. I'm obsessed with how this mug turned out. These are really popular right now, but I couldn't find any Easter ones. So this is exactly why the Cricut is perfect. You can create whatever you find on Pinterest, whatever you think up in your head. It's an awesome tool for all my DIYers. Using my Cricut machine has been an awesome asset to my home decor. If you love being creative with home decor as much as me, you need this machine in your life. Just think of all of the thrift flips we could be doing together. You can use my affiliate link in the description box down below. Thank you again to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Let's continue to decorate. I stopped decorating tier trays for about a year. I just got bored with them. My style changes. So I'm happy that I am back into decorating tier trays. I do love picking up little knickknacks and displaying different decor for different seasons. So let me know if you guys are still decorating tier trays. <music> I love decorating my coffee bar mainly because of these shelves. I love to find different garlands for each holiday or season and Easter was no different. I'm obsessed with this garland. I'm 
I'm filling up my Target Dollar Spot Gumball Machine with jelly beans, mixing them all up, and then placing them on my coffee bar shelves so we can enjoy them all throughout the Easter season. Next, we're moving on to this corner in my kitchen. I just kept this corner really simple because we do cook right next to this Lazy Susan at the stove and I'm always using this corner so I try to keep it really simple. When I pulled this bunny tray from the Target Dollar Spot out of my bin, I was like, should I return this? I don't know what I'm going to use it for. And then in popped the idea that I could use it as a soap dish. So I think this looks really cute next to my sink and I'm glad I ended up keeping it instead of returning it. I was recently at an antique shop and I saw these green and yellow egg holders. They're definitely not antique or vintage, but I thought they would look super cute for Easter, so I picked them up for $5 a piece. Don't get me wrong, you guys know I love my neutral decor, but something about these cutesy type of items when I'm in Marshalls and Home Goods, I can't resist buying them. I didn't know where I was going to put these, but I decided to put them on display in the center of my island with a candle burning, and I think they look so cute. Out of all the spots in my house that I decorated, I think this little rack is my favorite. I really want to incorporate more areas where I can hang things like peg rails, so that might be coming up in another video, but I love how this little area turned out. I added in this adorable bunny blanket from Marshalls. I think I got that for like $24.99. And I always like to find a statement blanket to hang on my ladder because I think it's an easy way to incorporate decor without screaming a holiday at you, especially in the living room that we use so frequently. And then I got this adorable bunny at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. 
and I'm just displaying him here with a beautiful spring candle, just as a simple Easter touch in the living room. We are moving into the dining room and honestly this is my favorite room in my whole house to decorate so we are doing a beautiful spring tablescape in here i got these chargers from at home they were 5.99 a piece so i'm just laying them out with white dishes that i got from the dollar tree These linen napkins are from Home Goods, and then I am always on the hunt for thrifted decor, so I included these napkin rings in one of my recent Goodwill hauls. Napkin rings are so ridiculously expensive, so I found that whole pack for, I think, less than $6 at the Goodwill, so don't sleep on the Goodwill, okay? It is worth it. <laughs> If you missed my DIY aged vases tutorial video on my channel, that's a couple videos back. You can check that out, but I DIY'd this adorable jug and I'm just adding in some stems from Hobby Lobby. These are lavender and then this like white wildflower stem. I absolutely love them. I tried to make it look very wild and like I went out and picked them and I think I accomplished it pretty well. I also just wanted to say that this tablescape is beautiful and all, but reality is I'm not going to leave this out. My house is not picture perfect and as soon as I put this on display, my cat started eating all of the stems. So everything is not as you see on YouTube and it's not always picture perfect. I grabbed these stems at the Dollar Tree and they ended up matching the lavender from Hobby Lobby perfectly. So I just cut off six pieces to put one at each of my table settings.
after digging through my Easter decor bin, I remembered I purchased these little wood bunnies at the Dollar Tree, so I added them to each of my table settings as well. I'm going to leave my Cricut coupon code in the description box down below as well as on screen right here. This gives my viewers 10% off any bundle on the Cricut website starting on April 1st all the way through June 30th. So definitely check out Cricut's bundles and thank you so much if you do shop through my link or use my coupon code. It means more to me than you guys will ever know. The cats were pretty well behaved through my whole video, so you guys didn't get a chance to see them, but I know that you love when they are in my videos. Oh, okay. Here's Charles. <laughs> Say hi, buddy. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you again so much to Cricut for partnering with me and sponsoring today's video. I had so much fun making today's video and making those Cricut projects. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.